Hello, welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I am your host, Matthew Horky. Hi, I'm Shereen Tan. Welcome back to the show today. We're, we are getting into some Roan Reds from Santa Barbara <laughs> County. We're, I'm excited about this episode. You? He's really excited. I'm excited too. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but before we get started, I want to let you guys know that this uh, video has not been paid for in any way, shape, or form. But if you do find value in these videos we're shooting on Santa Barbara County, check out our guide to the wines of Santa Barbara County called Sipping Santa Barbara. Recommend wines and producers. Uh, let's get in this to this today. We are, <clears throat> we Coravin, I used the Coravin to access all of these wines. Coravin Model 2 Elite. Thank you, Coravin, for actually a, a sponsoring a unit, unit, letting us use it on the show. And we poured in these beautiful Gabriel 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 Glass Gold Edition glasses, hand blown. There will be a discount code uh, for Gabriel Glass stemware at the end of the video. Ready to get started? Let's go. <laughs> so Grenache. Ooh, I love this grape. I think more than you do. Probably. <laughs> Grenache, you know, actually famous for uh, f famous for producing, being a big component of the great wines of Chateau du Pape, mm -hmm, which, which you, you love, <laughs> which I like very much. But you know, <clears throat> for all Santa Barbara County, sh there's a lot of grapes that do well. Mm -hmm. Probably Chardonnay and Pinot Noir are the most famous in the area, mm -hmm. but Rhone grapes, especially Syrah and Grenache, gaining traction, right? Yeah, Anything? exactly. Especially, actually, the other day we were talking to our Croatian wine writer friend. And when we mentioned that we're doing an episode about Santa Barbara, or an episode series, he said, oh, the Syrah there is great. And I was really surprised. I mean, I thought I thought he would say Pinot Noir or Chardonnay, but it looks like Syrah and also Grenache. We've heard about it quite a couple of times from other people as well. It looks like both grades are gaining traction. What if Miles would have been crazy and sideways about Syrah or Grenache? Who <laughs> would have known how this is? Let's get into the, some of the wines today. The first one I am very excited about. This is the Lumen Grenache 2015 Santa Barbara County. Uh, <clears throat> this Only 600 cases are produced. Mm -hmm. uh, aged in neutral oak. But made just in the style of Pinot Noir, the winemaker Lane Tanner is one of the first independent female winemakers... Here yeah, in Santa Barbara, Barbara, right? Yeah. Uh, she just started uh, working with this label. This label is fairly new, crafting some nice wines at low prices. I'm excited to taste this vintage. We have not had this vintage, yeah, right? Yeah. 30 US dollars. Let's give this. First of all, the first thing that I notice is it's very Pinot in color, huh? It's very light. Very light. I don't know if you can see. Do you know if this is whole cluster? Yeah, you as can well? see this. I don't know if this is whole cluster fermentation. Uh, I would guess this is whole cluster. We'll have to get back to that. I don't know. Yeah. Let's give this. Oh, cool. Let's let's uh let's give this a go. First, the first one, Grenache, uh, in Santa Barbara County. To me, depending on where it's grown. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I looked at the look of Epiphania. <laughs> this is very Grenache, very mm -hmm. strawberry, candy, yeah, cherry, cherry, cinnamon, white pepper. I get mm -hmm. the cinnamon. A little bit, yeah. What well, cinnamon more than the white pepper? Not earthy like old world Grenache. More bright fruit, but very delicious smelling. Wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. But you want to give it? What do you think? What are you picking up? I'm getting a little bit of a green note to it that I'm still trying to figure out what it is. Well, let's give this a little bit of a go. Hmm. Mm. Nice, smooth in the mouth with good grip and tartness. This is a wine that's going to appeal to a lot of people, right? It's going to be a crowd pleasing mm. wine. A lot of juicy red fruit. Uh, tannins are easy. Tannins are easy going. Mm -hmm. uh, I get a little bit of a white pepper note. For pe There's, there are complexities here for some people that want uh -huh. them. Yeah. But what, what else do you think? The finish just has a little bit of rose note to it as well, which I really like. What are you? Are you okay on this wine? You really enjoy, and it's well-made wine. But for your palate profile, are you liking it a lot, or? Mm, I'm happy with it. Okay. Yeah, but I still think that can be greater. <laughs> yeah, I still think this is very good from Lane. Uh, good job. She's got crazy, colorful hair. Uh, for me, I'm four point zero on this wine. I think it's very good. I think for me, it's more of a crowd pleaser. I think that everybody's kind of gonna kind of like this one. Mm. We'll move on. Do you think there's volatile acidity in this? I don't think so. Okay. Let's move on. Famous mm -hmm. producer, 
Very famous, new vintage. This is the Beckman Vineyards Grenache from Santa Ynez Valley, 2016. I 900 cases produced. Um, two different clones. I know this was. I know this was aged in neutral oak. So let's give this a go. He is, Beckman is more famous for his Syrah. I'm excited. I have not had the 2016. Uh, mm -hmm. Beckman wines are big, fruity, and bold. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited because I heard 2016 in Santa Barbara was a was a year where there's a little bit more acidity in the wines. So let's give this a go. I believe that in this vintage, most of the fruit from this came from his uh, Parisma Mountain vineyards, which are biodynamic. Let's give this a This is exactly the Beckman that I remember. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's like, this is ripe, ripe, <laughs> the, ripe fruit. The intensity really hits you in the face. You can, you, I can almost taste or smell the fruit flavor, and it travels up by, my, to my forehead or something along that line. It's For me, like, this is like extremely ripe strawberry cherry, wouldn't you say? A ton of cherry, cranberry. Hmm. Hmm. Some Let's... brown oak smell to it, too. This is quite complex. This is 32 US dollars. This is kind of an entry level offering. Mm -hmm. Um maybe brown sugar. Let's give this uh let's give this a little bit of a go. Mm. It's very good. I underestimate I I have to say I'm some of Beckman's entry level wines, I would Beckman Vineyards, I was not fans of in the past. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you like this? Fruit intensity. Licorice. I get a lot of licorice and white pepper on this. Uh, this has more tannic grip than the lumen. Mm, this definitely has pepper notes to it. This is good stuff. Uh, this, to me, this is this is the kind of wine that's easily going to get ninety something points. I think this is for me four point two already on Vivino. This is like fun. a very fierce. Grenache. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right. You're right. A little bit more burly, mm -hmm. I would have to say. Nice stuff. Really good stuff. Mm -hmm. Shall we move? You ready to move on? Yep. Let's move on. So we have a wine that Shireen, a winery that Shireen is crazy mm -hmm. about. We have uh, Samsara. This is the Grenache from the Larner Vineyard, 2013. Yeah, I've loved every <coughs> single wine by Samsara. Samsara, so basically, yeah, you love, you love <laughs> these wines. Uh, Samsara started by Chad Melville, who has moved out back onto his family vineyards, Melville. Uh, it's now owned by Joan and Dave Sukutak, <laughs> if I can get that right. And they brought on they brought on Matt Brady, who was the former winemaker at Jaffors. And they were longtime mailing list subscribers, and they plan to keep the same style uh, for Samsara wine. So let's give this a go, shall we? <clears throat> Shireen is a big fan of the Samsara single vineyard Pinot Noirs, especially the Kargasaki mm -hmm. vineyard, right? Uh, let's give this a little bit of a smell here. It's so wow. interesting. These three wines are really different. These are all totally different. This is... This is this is Santa Maria though. This is from Santa Maria Valley. Mm, okay. For me, Santa Maria wines are leaner, mm -hmm. a little more acidity, more elegant. Tart. Yeah, tart. Yeah. This is like Australian fans will like this, but it has it's it's not a simple wine. It has complexity. This is uh, more old worldy, wouldn't you say? Yeah, and this is <clears throat> in terms of body, the mouthfeel. Um, I haven't tasted it right, but but I would guess this is somewhere in between the two. For me, I get a lot of pepper and Cool Whip. Mm -hmm. It's almost, mm -hmm. it's almost it's like if better, I had yeah. strawberries with Cool Whip and I put white pepper mm -hmm. over the top mm -hmm. of it with a little bit of earth. And this really has the salinity that I get from Santa Barbara County, right? Like I get mint as well. Yeah, oh. I am very excited <laughs> to taste this. Let's give this a go. Oh, it's peppery. What do you think of that one? Oh, this is spicy, yeah. This is, so, for uh, fans of European European wines, little leaner wines, I, what I like about Santa Barbara is the wines are not too big and fruity and over the top, but, man, they're going to like, I like this wine a lot. You? For, for my palate, this is more my style as mm -hmm. well. There's a little bit of blue fruit notes to it, too. 
I even took a little bit of a sip of it. Wow. I think I'm, I'm 4.3 on this wine. I think uh, I think this is really darn good. I mean, if anyone who doesn't like Gren Grenache should totally taste this wine and be your best Grenache. Uh, not cheaper at all. This is 40 US dollars. So we had 30, 32, 40. We had different experiences. I don't think with any of these wines you're going to be disappointed. All good wines. Yeah. But... Uh, Wow, anything that you want to add on Grenache? Good showing by Grenache. <laughs> the first couple. Anything you want to add? That's all. Well, we're going to flash the discount code for Gabriel Glasses on the screen right there. Uh, they're for their, their standard art, their machine-blown glasses, and for some of their decanters. And I will put the link mm -hmm. in the description box. Guys, uh, check out our guide to the wines of Santa, of Santa Barbara County. Thanks for watching. And if you like this episode... Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Exotic Wine Travel. I will see you at the next episode.